We know that unemployment's a really stressful life event, and research on this topic goes way back to the Great Depression. And it's very difficult for people because it has a huge financial impact upon them and their families. They're really uncertain about where life is going for them, and also there is sometimes some embarrassment involved. They're removed from their network of friends at their workplace. But at the same time, they also talk about a lot of challenges involved in the job search itself. And what this study did is it dug really deep to try to understand what specific challenges as well as surprises that people face during their job search experience. One that came up was that individuals talked a lot about what a surprise it was or how challenging it was to, to cope with rejection after rejection. And even though people knew that they weren't going to find the first job that came along, there were so many times when they thought, this is the job and I'm going to get it. And it really took a big impact upon their ability to persist over time. Another big challenge came through is finding the right target for what jobs to apply to. Some people took a bullet approach and just applied to any job that was out there that sort of seemed to fit them. And they learned over time that they had to be much more targeted. Yet there were other people that started very specific, like, I want this particular type of job. And they only applied for jobs that were really specific to what they wanted to do, and they found they were taking too narrow of an approach. And just as a third example, we heard a lot about the depersonalization involved in the job search. And this was a big surprise to people, especially if they hadn't looked for a job for some time. So individuals um, talked about how they would just send their resumes out into this black hole or, you know, just out into the ether, out through the internet. And oftentimes they never even heard back if they didn't get the job, even after sometimes getting an interview. I think that the takeaway from this paper is an overview of there's some really difficult things you're going to face, but be resilient and expect them. And by really understanding, here are some things that are going to come about during the process. I think people can be much more prepared for, let's say, rude interviewer behavior. We ran into that comment quite a bit that sometimes people were really surprised by le being left in the waiting room for some time. Or there is one man who got up in the morning and he was so excited for his interview. And he went to the gym and he was pumping weights and saying, I can do this, I can do this, I'm going to get this job, here's what I'm going to answer this question. Then he got into the car, it was an hour and a half drive to the interview, and halfway there they called and said, um, we've, we've selected someone for the position, you don't need to come in. And by just alerting people of different stories and things that people have encountered, I think it helps create a sense that I'm not alone in this process and there will be challenges, but also they can learn from other people about how they handled those situations.